Alrighty, hey guys, we are back, back again with another video. Back in the good old Jack's Journey world, we're um, we're going to do a couple of things today. Um, first of all, video is not going to be as long as usual. Um, I haven't got that much time to record this video. Um, as I'm recording this pretty late at night, and I really need to go to bed um, and get up early and go to work tomorrow. So I'll try and record as long as I can. Um, so I'm a little bit tired, so she might be all over the place a little bit, but um, bear with me. I've been at the hospital all day, and um, yeah, we just, we'll get into that in a bit. But um, today, what I'm going to do, um, I'm just hanging around here. I haven't really been doing much, honestly. Um, I'll, I'll explain a bit in a minute, but what I'm going to do today, I'm going to use this one here, and I'm going to make it so I can get my boat in there and up to the top, like a little little water ladder kind of elevator thingy for, um, for the boat. Um, I've been looking at a couple of little tutorials and stuff so I know exactly what I'm doing and I've built this in a tutorial world just so I can get my head around it. I've got a few items here in the inventory, got a bit of water, um, some glass, some cobble and all that sort of stuff, a trapdoor button and a sign. I made the trapdoor button and sign thing at the top by myself, kind of winged it hard, winged it hardcore and um, it kind of worked out for me pretty well. So. Uh, I guess we'll see how to just see how that goes and we'll probably put the boat over here a little bit get him out of the way for the moment uh, This needs to be here And I think I put an extra layer here. Yeah, I did too. Okay, cool. I need an extra layer here for these so Oh damn must be some caves around here or something But what I need to do first is I need to just make a little water bit so we can go in here. Where's the middle of it? No, that's the middle there. Okay, that's the one we need to go up on beautiful um, okay, I need some water in the bottom here first of all. Get this all sorted. There we go. Just put that there so I make it infinite. Beautiful. There we go. Okay. Excellent. Hey. And what I'll need to do, actually, now this needs to come out one more, doesn't it? Yep, it does do. Okay. So I'll go from here. There. Beautiful. And then I need to take this glass and go, say, from here. Do I have silk touch on still, please? Yep, I do. Okay, cool. Come away this way. Here. Put a few of these like this, like that, that's good. Okay, so we're coming here. And what I'm gonna do is I need some more water on the bar and I need this sign here. So I need to, who's talking? Someone's talking on my thing, hang on. Uh, that, that'll, that'll just chill out for a bit. So that goes there. And will this be able to sit there like that? Beautiful, okay. So that's good, that is very good. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And then we just need to continue with the glass up. This is the, this is the annoying bit. The glass bit is so friggin' annoying. Took me forever. I did with creative mode in a in a creative world, but you guys know how annoying this friggin' glass is. So just bear with me. We'll try and build her up. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. I need to I need to dig this out here, but we'll uh we'll figure that out. Okay, so I need it about this high here. Is that gonna work? Yep, that's gonna work. Okay, cool. And I need one more sign just there. Excellent, that works very well. So then I just need to get lots of water and basically make this really high. This goes all the way up to the roof and then the water will be able to flow straight up through it. So I need to do this and we need to make this like a glass tube all the way up. Actually, we don't need to do that, do we? We can, we can, shut up. Okay, stop talking to me, whoever that is. Shut your face. Okay, I think this will be easy if we just do it like this for the moment. Might look a bit cooler as well. I don't know if it's going to look that great, but I guess we'll um, guess we'll see how she goes. How high are we? We're pretty, we're pretty up. Can okay, I take this out? Just to the the whole size of what we need it to be. So exactly right there where it is right now. There, that kind of works like that. Thank you very much, Lee. And take this out as well. Up to the sky, woohoo, there we go, beautiful. All right, so I'll continue this and I just need to put some water in here and um, get all this sorted. So while we do that, I'll have a quick chat and we'll uh, see what's going on. I need to remove this too, I forgot about that. Just because this is the way I'm gonna get back down. This is what I figured out with the um, the uh, trap door and stuff like that. So this one needs to go and then we put the signs here so to stop the water. So we'll go sign here and sign. Actually, no, because we need it to come here, please. Yes, okay. Because we need the water to come out one because it sort of pushes us this way. So we need it to sort of come out like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. We're going to get hurt. 
Oh, beautiful. Okay. So now I need to work this. We need to go all the way up in, in inside here and get water out. So if I, if I go like this, I should be able to do the water from the side here. Shouldn't I? Should I be able to do that? Hmm. No. Okay. It's going to be harder than I thought. In creative mode, you just fly up. It's not a problem. Oh, I'll do it like this. Boink. Then I'll come back down. Okay, that's cool. We'll do it like that. Easy done. Um, but yeah, so sorry I haven't had uh, many videos out this week. I've been really, really trying to um, put videos out. But as most of you guys know, my girlfriend's been in hospital. Um, she's all good. She just has a... Um, a kidney disease where she uh, gets kidney stones all the time. They just keep uh, producing and they keep just forming. And yeah, it's not it's not good, not good at all. Um, they've they've you know there's just no way they can stop it doing that. So she's unfortunately stuck with that for the rest of her life, which is a bit unfortunate for her um, and for anyone else involved, like doctors and family and me and things like that. Because when she goes into hospital, she doesn't go in there for like a day and comes out. She doesn't go in there after the operation and come out the next day. She's literally in there for like five days at a time more. She's been in there a week tomorrow, which sucks balls, as you can imagine. So, um, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like the glass like this. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move the glass like that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to fix it up like this. This might be easy. Um, but yeah, so she's she's been in there for the last, say, seven days. It'll be seven days tomorrow. So as you can imagine, sitting in that room for seven days is a absolute pain in the bum. Um, like I've been there most of the time. That's why I haven't had time to record because I've actually been in the hospital pretty much the whole time with her um, just to be there for support and looking after her and doing stuff for her. You know, she can't really move. Um, she's got a drain in her back. So any of the stones that can come out the side and all the gunk and just so they can kind of try and kind of try and um you know clean up the kidney a bit and whatever they got to do but had this drain like in her back um i do have a photo of it but i don't know whether she want me to put it up on twitter or something about having a, like a big hole in tube in her back but i'll ask her and if so i'll put it up on my twitter but probably not um, but yeah, she's got like a big, um, big drain in her back and, um, it's got this big tube in it and it, uh, sticks out of her back and all this other crazy stuff that she's got going on. She's got, um, had a catheter in which is, so you don't have to actually go to the toilet. You just, it just sort of comes out like it's, it's actually in your, I suppose, I don't want to say it like, I suppose in your, in your wee hole, if you want to put it like that. Um, that's kind of a bit awkward to say, but, um, you know what I mean? But yeah, so it's kind of kind of in there and uh, it just means you don't have to get a toilet. It just comes out by itself. It just sort of flows through. So just so you don't have to move when you're in those uh, circumstances where you actually can't physically move. So um, that's where she, what she had. And then she had, um, uh, oh, what's it called? A cannula, which is like a, those things you put in your arm where you, um, where they put like the drip in and stuff like that for water and, and antibiotics and all that sort of stuff. So she had that in and and everything like that. So, oh, this boat's broken. Oh no, here we go. Yep, beautiful. That works good. Um, so yeah, so she had that in there um, for however long, and and she's just been cruising at the moment. She's getting better. She's got um, the the catheter out and the the thing in her arm still there, like the bit they put the water and the antibiotics in. But it's um it's getting better. So so yeah, she should be out hopefully tomorrow anyway or the next day. So. I guess we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys up to date. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know how many videos there will be over the weekend. Uh, just because she'll be hopefully getting out either tomorrow, Friday, or the next day. And I'll be up there tomorrow night if she's not, and Saturday if she's not. So I'll, I'll try and get some videos out. I'm actually going to the skate park on uh, on Saturday. So I might try and get a bit of footage there for you guys and put her up, put some, some clips up for you guys. So I guess we'll see what happens. But I'll try my best. Uh, this is coming up on, on Friday. Um, which is a bit weird for me. I don't usually record um, my Jack Journey on Friday, but I didn't do it yesterday just because I didn't have time. But I got a bit of time tonight to record, so thought I'd um, thought I'd do that. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that, me doing that without me actually explaining what I was doing. It's kind of self-explanatory, really. It's, it's not really that hard. It's not really the hardest thing I've ever done. I haven't fought many mobs in a while, so. Might have to go on an adventure next episode and fight some things and try and do some stuff, get this place cracking. Um, 
I will continue building. Oop, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping over here. Uh, I will continue building um, the place, the oil rig thingy. Uh, I'll continue doing that uh, the next couple of days and whatever. And so we'll get back into it next week. But I just wanted to explain why I haven't had many videos out. Because um, I know some of you guys know and watch the other videos that I put up and, and on my Twitter and stuff like that. But I know some of you guys don't follow me on Twitter or Facebook and you probably don't really know what I'm doing. Um, if not, and you want to know, check out my Facebook and that. It's in the description. So, all good. But yeah, we'll go back over and we'll check it out. I think it works good. I think this one works pretty good. Oh, my other boat's there too. See if I can get it from here with this. Oh, missed, missed it. That's all good. So close. But I think this thing works good. You're sort of just cruising through. Cruising through like a boss. Pull into here. And zoom. There we go. I might make an entrance there so you can try and get through there or something like that. Go up here. The boat automatically spins around. Stops on there. Hop off. And you're on the edge. And you're free to do whatever you want. And then you go back over and you go boink. Hit the, the trapdoor lever. And then down you go. Facing the right way. And back out. Now, I am absolutely stoked about that. I watched this video of this guy who one. He had glass and everything else like that. And then I was like, yeah, I'll try and do it my own way. His was a bit different than this. He had like some other things like, I don't know, pulling it in and all this other weird stuff. But I thought if I could just ride into it and, uh, oh, there, that was so close. If I can just ride into it, like drive into it, literally just drive in the middle of this thing and then it'll suck me up the top which is what it's doing straight up and it spins around by itself. I don't know how it does that. Stop talking, brother. Um, spins around by itself and then hop off and that's it. Like it's absolutely 100% perfect what I need it. What I need it, what I need it. But yeah, that's um, that's what I wanted to do today. Sorry if it's a bit shorter than usual, but um, honestly, I just got home about half an hour before recording this, had some dinner. It's about 11.30 at night, about 12 o'clock now by the time I'm recording this. So i got to go to sleep because i got to get up early tomorrow at six o'clock and go to work. Um, and then i got to go back up to the hospital tomorrow afternoon. And then we've got a party here Saturday night for my girlfriend's uh, sister's 25th. And um, yeah, it's just had a big crazy week. I know sitting at the hospital is not doing too much, but it's just mentally draining and I've got headaches and everything like that. So I uh, really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys can appreciate me just putting a couple of videos out this week and I'll definitely go back into it next week. I'm really, really keen to get back into it, get all this happening and um, everything like that. But just got to be with me for a moment, you know, girlfriend and, and life comes first. So and health as such so that's what i've what i've got to do and i'm just helping her out and looking after it as as a good boyfriend does you know sure the girls watching this will appreciate that and you know think i'm real cute Ooh. um but yeah <laughs> hope you guys um have a good friday and have a good weekend and i'll uh, talk to you guys over the weekend with some skate hopefully Woohoo! right thanks for that and i'll catch you guys later